Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can migrate your Google Drive to another account, from one account to another account. Now, this tutorial was fantastic because it's the one-stop shop for you to do this no matter what type of account you have. So normally, if, you have a, like, if you're a student at a school or you're a teacher, you'll have like a Google Workspace account. You might have restrictions in transferring files. This tutorial is gonna show you how to transfer your entire drive or selected folders. Now, stick with me, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is actually quite simple. There's a couple of steps that are involved, right? So let's get straight into this. I'm doing this on an iPad, by the way, so you can do this on you know, a mobile device. Obviously, try to do it on a computer just to show you that this is super flexible. Make sure you're signed into your Google account. So here I am on Google, and I've just made sure that I'm signed into my account. Okay, yeah, I'm in my account, fantastic. Google's actually made a transfer application that you can use, yeah? So this is what we're gonna use. So go ahead and type in takeout.google.com. Takeout, I'll put in the link in the description, takeout.google.com. And then it's gonna ask you, hey, what account are you signed into? I'm signed into my actual account. And I can, what I can do from here is I can actually do a download of all of the files and folders that I want. Google makes a zip on their own server. So they host your download on their servers for one week. So check this out. There are 55 different items that you can select to download. I'm gonna deselect all of these and I'm just gonna go ahead down to Drive. I'm gonna go find my Drive. So this is what I wanna transfer. I just wanna transfer my Google Drive, not everything else. What I wanna do is I wanna go on to select my Drive folders that I wanna download. Now what you might wanna do before this, coming to Google Takeout, is you might wanna just organize your folders and files. Okay, so if you go to your drive, you can organize your folders and files. So if I just give you some context for that, if I go to drive, my drive is quite organized, but you might wanna create a new folder and you might wanna call it, um, I don't know, transfer. Okay, I think I spelled that wrong. Yeah, I forgot the S. Okay, so we'll just call it transfer. <laughs> So you can move everything into the transfer or the transfer folder and then that's the only folder that you wouldn't download. Now, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna skip that step. I'm gonna go back to Google Takeout. I'm just gonna download folder two. Obviously you can select as many as you wanna download and then press on OK. And then go right to the bottom and then go ahead to next step. So remember, we're only downloading the Google Drive folder. Okay, now here it, it gives you a couple of options. I'm gonna get it to send a download link to my email and then from there, I can just download my content. We're gonna export this once. We're not gonna do it. You can actually set this up for like every two months, you know, to download it. It's gonna be a zip file and then I'm gonna go ahead and press export. A notification here, it says the process can take a long time. It could take hours or days. Or I'm hoping that for the, for the sake of this tutorial, that it is gonna send me an email quite quickly. So now all I'm doing is a waiting game. I'm just gonna go back to my email and find, and just wait until they send me that link. Okay, so part two then, I've received that email from Google for my download. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that email and then just download your files, click on that link. It may ask you to sign in, that's fine. If it asks you to sign in, then sign in. Here it is, it's this download. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And remember, I am on an iPad. So this dialog box might look a bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this and it's gonna download on my iPad. Yeah, it's downloading. Right, excellent, that's downloaded. Let's go ahead and click on it now. Here it is, it opens up in my files. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that zip to unzip it. That might take, uh, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. To, oh, there it <laughs> took five seconds, I've unzipped it. And now if I click on this drive folder, you can see here EdTech 2224. I've got all of my folders here manage back oh i've got my stuff there policies i've got all my policies let's see media room yeah i've got everything here so what i can do now is i'm going to transfer this i'm going to transfer this straight to my new account so let's go ahead back to safari i want to transfer everything here now it's up to you how you want to organize it remember you are going to be the sole owner of these files whether you put it in your root directory or make a new folder, it's up to you. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and split screen. Look at this, split screen my files. This is the folder that I wanna transfer, isn't it? Yeah, this is the folder that I wanna transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this straight onto Safari. So look at this, I'm gonna drag it straight onto Safari. You can do the same drag and drop on your computer as well. I'm gonna go ahead and upload and let me go ahead and show you this. I'm uploading all of my folders here. So just in reference to gig, you know, my internet speeds or whatever, it's 
it's, uh, it's happening quite quickly. 174 files out of 298 are, have already uploaded. Let's go ahead and check it. So if I go to my drive, <clears throat> here we go, look, the EdTech 2324, if I click on this, I can start looking at some of these files. Let's just go to EdTech Lessons. Okay, let's go and see the share option. You can see that I am the sole owner to this. This is now my file. So that's it, it's as simple as that. I know there was a few steps. It is essentially just two parts. So go to Google Takeout, download what you wanna download, watch the video back and forth so that you are familiar with this process. And I think this is probably the best way to do it. So as always, uh, drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.